Tonight on the Maritime Beer Report, five new beers, a sixth beer in the works, three events coming very soon to Nova Scotia, and good news for our Uncle Leo's. Happy Thanksgiving and welcome to the October 11th edition of the Maritime Beer Report. Let's start as we normally do in my home province of New Brunswick. Grimross Brewing has a Belgian IPA that should be ready in a day or two. They're going to tweet to let people know when it's ready. That's definitely one to try to get in and get one quickly because I don't think it's going to last. Chartown's latest Five Rivers Golden Ale is now available at its brewery. It comes in at 5% alcohol by volume and about 25 IBUs. Picaroons had a surprise this week. They released a fresh out of the barrel oak aged best bitter on tap now at the boutique. So get in there to get that as soon as you can. Bridge Brewing uh, was saying today that they looks like the Many Hands Wet Hopped Imperial Ale is going to be gone uh, until next year. So goodbye, good friend, till we meet again. Big Spruce Brewing had some uh, bit of good news in the middle of this week. They're Better Getter India and Regatta Red are joining the Kitchen Party and Serial Killer on tap at Maxwell's Plum here in Halifax. This is their first Bitter Gitter India tap and their first Off the Island Regatta Red tap. And it's also going to be their first four tap location in Nova Scotia. Four beer sampler plates are going to be available. I say yes please. Garrison's third one hop beer has landed. Garrison says the East Kent Goldings EKG for short, is a British hop variety more gentle and smooth than its predecessor Citra with floral and fruity flavors and an earthy nose. You won't be disappointed. EKG is now available at the retail store, Nova Scotia Liquor Corporation and private stores in Halifax. EKG, EKG will be available in New Brunswick by the end of next week. The winemaker and brewmaster dinner at the Halifax Club with Blomid and Estates and Propeller Brewing Company in a head-to-head -head ta uh, taste off is next Friday the 18th. To reserve your seats or to get more information give Adam a call at the Halifax Club. Rock Bottom Brew Pub has a new offering a sour saison called Synaptic Illusion. The blog describes it as berry, fruit and spice, a little bit of funk and a whole lot of tart. A little farmhouse ale with a serious wallop of refreshing flavor and acidity. It comes in at 5% ABV and 7% IBUs. I tried the black and sour last weekend at the the uh, rock bottom and it was kind of tasty. I don't know if that's quite what I look for in a beer but something different for sure so get in and try that before it's all gone. Congratulations are in order for Uncle Leo's. The Huffington Post named Uncle Leo's one of the Canada's 11 best new breweries. It came as a total shock to them when they read it on Facebook, but congrats guys, well deserved. As reported last week, Sea Level Brewing's Hoptoberfest was on tap at the Brew Pub. It made its way into cans this week at the brewery, and as of today, it's at Harvest in Halifax. So get in and get it fast, because this one isn't going to be around for long. While I was out at Harvest today, I had a chat with Lucas from uh, Boxing Rock Brewing, and asked him what was going to come up next. He said after the Many Hands is gone, which should be very soon, it looks like they're going to do an English session. So look for that one for more information coming in the weeks. Uh, the Ladies Beer League announced a cask night, which sounds really cool. It's open to all beer lovers, men and women this time. It's coming on November 17th, which is a Sunday, at the Stubborn Goat Gastro Pub. I'm going to get to try out the Stubborn Goat next week, so I'll have something in next week's report about that. It will feature unique one-off cast condition ales from seven different maritime breweries. There's an afternoon session from 1 to 4 p.m., an evening session from 5 to 8 p.m. The tickets will be $35 and includes seven ounce samples from the cask and a chance to vote on for the 2013 cask of the year. Tickets go on sale this Sunday, October 13th on Eventbrite. And it's definitely one not to miss. I say that often. Unfortunately, this is one I'm going to have to miss. The Local Connections Halifax's 
Craft Beer and Local Food Celebration has released the two final rooms. Room 6 is the Plan B Karaoke Experience. Um, I think I'm going to have to be, <laughs> it's going to have to be my last room. I need to be drunk to be near that stuff. Every good celebration needs solid karaoke. The room will be hosted by Plan B and comedian Bill Wood, who people are probably familiar with in this area at least, plus other guests, and will be a place where your wildest dreams can come true. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm not a fan of karaoke, but I'm definitely going to try to participate. Local Source will be feeding hungry patrons while Boxing Rock and Hell Bay uh, wet your whistle. So. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Uh, that'll that'll make up for the bad singing. Uh, room seven is a sausage fest junior. Anybody in Halifax know we had a large sausage fest this summer. Uh, for those who have a reminisce or so has been reminiscing about last August sausage fest, or for those who simply missed the festivities, we have a room just for you. The room will be now shortly, but. We already know you'll be able to enjoy fresh brews from Big Spruce in Bedeck and Uncle Leo's from Lion's Brook. There's one last item, and this is going to be really interesting to your home brewers. There is going to be a home brewing contest leading up to the craft beer and local food celebration. Details will be coming soon. Stay tuned. You could be up there with uh, Mr. Nash and all the others. And one last item I found very interesting this week. Have any of you heard about the Valley Beer Fest in the Annapolis Valley next year? You haven't? It's going to be all Nova Scotia craft beer. Watch for details coming soon in the Pub Magazine and here on the Beer Report. And that is all I have for this week. Until next time, please enjoy responsibly.